78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. All right, keeping up with all the drama. Reports are coming out that Ryan Garcia has fired his trainer, Joe Goosen, that he just reconnected with. Now, many people are speculating there's a lot of suspicion after Joe Goosen and Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins did not show up for the post-fight press conference and left Ryan alone. There's many a lot of suspicion that, um, you know, Joe Goosen um, was a double agent. Now, I'm not saying that. That's what some people say. Uh, you know, Joe Goosen works for the PBC to some degree. He works um, as a... Um, uh, uh, you know, commentator for them, covering their fights and stuff like that. A lot of PBC fights, uh, especially over on Fox. And uh, he has a good relationship with the PBC. He also has a good relationship with Ryan, so we thought. Now, um, with the, the mole and all this stuff being going on in uh, Ryan's gym, uh, Ryan's looking for somebody to blame other than himself. Um, if he's getting rid of Joe Goose, and it don't bother me, uh, I mean – Joe Goosen should have been at the post-fight uh, press conference. No excuses for that. Uh, but he should also be trying to get rid of Golden Boy. It don't make no sense to go back in with Golden Boy after you got rid of Joe Goosen. And it don't mean it don't make sense to get rid of Joe Goosen when you've already uh, you were kicked out of Eddie Reynoso, Jim. Now you don't have Joe Goosen. Who are you going to get? Whoever you get, you have to be, humble yourself and be able to respect the instructions of the coach, you have to follow their philosophy and buy into their philosophy. If you want to continue to do stuff your way, you're going to continue to fail. And, um, you know, so it is what it is. We don't know why exactly Ryan fired him. It could just be that he wasn't there at the post fight press conference. But like I said, if that's the case, why not uh, get rid of Golden Boy altogether? Now, if it's because he don't like what was going on in Joe Goose's gym with the double agent stuff with Tank Davis, uh, in his team seemed to know everything Ryan was doing. They knew. Uh, uh, now, this, see, this is the tricky thing here. <clears throat> the trainer partner, uh, he snitched and said that he, he told uh, Tank's team that, you know, um, he told Tank Davis' team that he injured Ryan Garcia in sparring, right? That would explain that. However, at the weigh-in, when Tank said – you didn't eat breakfast this morning. You didn't eat breakfast this morning. And uh, Ryan was like, yes, I did. I ate breakfast this morning. Now, if that's all true, who would, who's close enough to Ryan Garcia to know if the man ate breakfast? And who would tell Javante Davis if the man ate breakfast or not? Many people suspect it was, you know, Joe Goose. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? You go back and you look at them press conferences, um, Tank's team let everybody have it from Ryan's side, except for Joe Goosen. Joe Goosen was the only one, you know, who got compliments. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of shady, but, you know, that's boxing. Boxing is a corrupt sport. So, you know, it's a learning lesson for Ryan Garcia, if any of this is true. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. I'm up out of here. Deuces.